Despite traders, despite the hurricane in Texas and disappointing numbers on Friday's employment report, and of course North Korea's crazy missile launch over Japan, Wall Street ended up four consecutive days of gains. The S&P 500 gained last week 1.3%. Now, has the market stopped responding to news? In the old world, the market was supposed to fall. In the new world, computers control the world and therefore the reality is different. Someone has not changed yet the algorithm. The computers are looking for buying opportunities and so far any news are good news. The market is very close to new all-time highs. The chances for successful breakout in September, a period of no declines, is very small. However, if there is going to be a breakout, it is, a, it is very, very likely for this breakout to fail. Let's take a technical view of the market. When I take a look at the S&P 500, I can see that the S&P is very close to the highs. Look at this very nice triangle uh, formation that we described last week. We did move out of the triangle. However, I thought it's probably going to move down. The market decided to move higher. So we are getting close to the highs. And again, as I mentioned earlier, I think that even if we are to move over the highs, it is very, very likely for this breakout to fail. But anyway, the technical formation did win and the market did break out out of these uh, triangle boundaries. Let's take a look at last week's picks. My first pick last week was LL long, it did fine, 3.8% gain. Just a reminder, at 3% gain, I sell three quarters of my quantity and leave the last quarter for a stop with a stop loss at the entry price, meaning, as you can see, LL did return to the entry price. It's out of the game now with a nice profit. My second pick last week was BZUN, short BZUN, did not trigger, did not move under my trigger point, therefore no trade in BZUN. Let's have two picks for this week. My first pick for the week is MU Long, over $33. MU is a provider of semiconductor systems. It's coming up to the highs with a lot of momentum. Look at last week's momentum. It's in an uptrend. It's looking great. And if the market's going to continue higher, MU is going to have some backwind. So MU is my first pick for the week. My second pick for the week is FNSR short under $23. And again, we're looking at the trend. The trend is definitely down. FNSR is downtrending. There's a nice technical breakdown formation under $23. FNSR is a producer of optical systems for data communication. So FNSR short looks like a very nice continu continuation pattern. I wish you a great trading week and I'll see you next week.